Hello, my friends. It's Nanny from Nanny and the Moose, just upon awakening. And I did want to show you the difference between a bare face, hair, not brushed, and what makeup and hair care can do for you. It's really all about the eyes, as well as the hair, isn't it? My pale eyes just totally disappear. And I think that when I use eye makeup, my eyes at least come to life. I do have hooded eyes, and somewhere in there, there are some lashes. At the very end of the video, I'm going to show you my minestrone pasta vasole soup that I made last night. It's just a quick one. Now, I did just get up a little while ago, have not brushed my hair yet. And for a woman who has thinning hair, a woman of a certain age, I have to tell you that what I use in the way of dry shampoo, and it doesn't really matter which one you get, I have noticed that any good dry shampoo will do the trick for totally volumizing your hair. Here is the Aussie Volumizing Gel, which I think is extremely important in this process of volumizing my hair. And this goes on after my shower, washing the hair into the wet hair. I put quite a bit of it on and leave it in and it stays in until I do my hair again. I scrunch my hair and then I will either go outside or just let it dry. And, and it dries kind of hard because the gel is in there. Then I will either brush it out, put my Aussie spray, which is what I put on after my curls dry. And I can't tell you what these things do for my hair. I love to do different hairstyles, pull, pull it back, use hair rats or forms, wear it scrunchy or turn it under, flip it up. But definitely these products will help you. I think by now, most of you know what I put on my face. I pretty much use the same five or six things. And I'm not gonna do the whole get ready with me because I really want to concentrate on eyes and what the eyes do. So I'm quickly gonna go through these. I have a e.l.f. illuminating primer that I will put all over my face first and down the neck. Then I use my best friend, my concealer, which is also a light e.l.f. concealer. And I put this up here to lighten up the forehead, under the eyes in somewhat of a V because I love the light look on this part of your face and definitely put quite a bit on my cheeks to hide the dark spots from the sun from years and years ago and aging. After that, I will go in with my e.l.f. blush. Now I use that as almost a contour. I don't use contour, but I do use this. Starting up at the top of the ear on the side of the face, coming down right below the cheekbone, not trying not to go lower than the nose, but maybe doing a little curl here under the cheekbone and then pushing it back toward the ear, keeping it high. And that's that. After that, my second best friend, maybe it's my first best friend, I don't know but it's my highlighter stick and I love this. I use this and I put this on the cheekbones, up here on the forehead, down the bridge of the nose, a little bit on the chin and then go back and blend it in. And the, the cheekbone goes up to the side like this. I have been watching TikTok and I am going to, in the next video, because I've sent for some products, for the eyes. It's going to be all about the eyes and probably the hair, but mostly the eyes. And I'm going to redo my eyes to the point of using one or two, one most important thing that I never use. And I'm going to show you the difference, hopefully, in my eyes. But I have discovered from TikTok, believe it or not, a couple of hacks that I'm going to show you in the next video, not now. I recently watched a dermatologist doctor telling that the only products that you really need for your skin are four products. One is a good sunscreen that's over 
30. The other is a good retinoid, which by the way, is one of the ordinary products and it's only about $10. The next one is a good facial cleanser. He recommends CeraVe and it's a hydrating cleanser and that is important. And the last one is a great moisturizer and there are many of those. As you know, I love my Nivea, but there is also a CeraVe, there's an ordinary. There are a lot of good moisturizers out there. And he says, that's it. That's all you need. There's no need to load up on products in the morning or at night if you do those four things. He also says that skincare is a lifestyle and you have to do it regularly. He said, it's like working out, eating a meal. It's just something you do. Make it a lifestyle. And if you use just those four products, you'll be doing great. Okay, I've basically put on my face and I showed you the products that I used. I also put the lipstick on because I do like the dark lipstick with that blue plum base because I think it makes your teeth look whiter, especially aging teeth. And as you can see, it just doesn't look finished without the eyes, does it? So now I'm going to do what I normally do on my eyes and then tomorrow when I do that TikTok video of the unusual things that my new products arrive late tonight. And I hope there will be a huge difference. So right now I will go ahead and do the eyes. I have been using my Lash Princess Essence Mascara. And I do use a brush for this to apply. Now, normally I would put something on my eyes in the way of a concealer because I do have pigmentation there and that would be a good base to start with the eyes. As you can see, this one is pretty well dying out and I have another one, but I'm going to try. I'm gonna have to look in my mirror here. Now I'm using a brush that is a bit more solid than the other ones because I want to try and get a more defined line when I'm applying the makeup. Now, if I go too dark, it won't work. My Maybelline, a very light tan application over the eye. This is the area I want to improve to make my eyes look less hooded. I don't want to put a dark color of any kind, but I have watched a few videos and I think I'm gonna be able to improve that. Let's see. I have a smaller palette here that I might try, also a Maybelline, and I'm going to go into the lighter color. Tap. Now, if I'm just going to go back and forth with the brush, doesn't, because it's pale, it's not coming out. We'll try here. And I'm just using a window brush Look, because I don't have a real crease, I've watched videos and they say to go a little bit higher. Fortunately, I have enough space. My eyebrows are high, so I can do that. Now, normally I would have put it down here, but from what I've watched, it doesn't make for a very good hooded line. So we'll see if that works. I'm gonna try that on the other eye now and see if that works. It's, it's not a dark color, as you can see. When you have a low bone there that doesn't really form a natural crease, they do say to go higher than that bone. Now I think I need more color on this eye. Now, because I have little fat pads in here in the corners, I don't want to accentuate those. So I decided to do them dark. Sometimes they say, put the light in there. Now I don't know whether those colors are evened up, but that might be it. Now, maybe I'll take a clean brush. What I did was I used this cream on top. It's more of a powder and I'll try and spread that a little bit. As you know, normally I take the other color and go right down to the lid, but now I'm trying to make a distinction here. I did get a new pencil. It's a 
Brow Lifter, and I think it is a waxy crayon, a little bit lighter on one end, and I'm trying to figure out which end is lighter here. I believe this is the lighter color, which I'm going to put up on the brow, under the brow line, and it is. This is supposed to highlight. This is called the Brow Lifter Highlighter, and one of the, the ends is a little bit darker, which gives a little bit of a almost like a waxy finish to your brows. Okay, bring that down a little bit. The only thing left to do is a little bit of eyebrow pencil under my eyes. I did fill in in the middle where I'm losing hair up here and extended the tail a little bit. So I'm gonna do this now. I don't do any wet lines or, I have to look in my mirror. We do make funny faces, don't we? When we do all this. And with my pale eyes, this is a necessity. Now the mascara I've been using is this. I have not been using anything else but this. And I normally just do one or two applications kind of give a little wiggle. I still have an abundance. Whoops. Well, I'll get that later. They say if you get any eye and stuff on your mobile lids, wait till it dries and get it later. Keep seeing I'm getting stuff up here. And that's mainly because I'm not looking <laughs> into a mirror. So I'm gonna try and look into the mirror right now. I don't do the wet lines or the other line. I don't know what that's called. Now that's about the best I can get with this. And then I do always like to put something on the bottom. There's a difference, isn't it? Now let me go back and get rid of the smudgies up here. Now I've done both eyes on the lashes top and bottom. And I'm going to go in with a Q-tip and try and get the little bit of smudges here. I hope it's dried. Don't know whether it does or not. But can you see the difference that eye makeup makes? I'll try and do a side-by-side -side without the eye makeup. And I do think it makes a huge difference. Now, in my next video, when my new products arrive, I'm going to do my TikTok hack on my eyes. There's two different hacks and I'm going to combine them to show you perhaps, and I'm hoping that there's going to be a big difference in my eyes. So that's enough for my morning eye makeup. As you can tell, I'm not a perfectionist and I still make all kinds of mistakes, but I keep trying. I made the most fantastic soup last night. You can call it a minestrone or an Italian pasta fuzzle, but it was fabulous and so easy. Looks like a lot of ingredients, but I tell you it was easy, fast, and so delicious. Now let me show you what I started with. I had beans, which are full of protein. I had chick beans, garbanzos, black beans. I think I also had kidney beans. I don't know where my, oh, there it is, kidney beans. My, started with my Holy Trinity of, actually it was carrots in there too. I don't have any left, but I did use leftover carrots, celery, onions, and I had a little leftover spinach, I threw that in. The base was basically a tomato, which was just a can of Hunt's diced tomatoes little extra tomato that I had in the refrigerator, threw that in, and also a can of this, which did give it a little bit of spice. I thought it was sauce, tomato sauce, and I think I threw in a, a small tomato paste. It was fabulous. When I put the beans in, I did leave the water in, so Moose said it looked darker brown than it usually does, and that was because of the black beans water that was in there and probably the kidney bean water but look at this, it has elbow macaroni in it. It has all the chopped up carrots and celery and onions. I used one of these, the vegetable broth, and 
normally I'll, I'll use the low sodium. But now today, on the second night, I will throw in another can of that. On top, oh, of course, elbow macaroni, not a full box, maybe a third of a box of elbow macaroni. And that gives it that good little pasta taste. It was fabulous. Just keep throwing them all in a big pot. I'm sure you can do this. It was easy, fast, and Moose said the most delicious soup he's ever had. The spices were dill, oregano, Italian. Um, I had a little fresh basil from my garden. Of course, garlic, you can use fresh or powder. And I even had an extra can of this that I threw in, some Italian wedding soup, which, right with the, with the liquid and everything. Now on top, when I served it in a nice big bowl, I put a big sprinkling of the mozzarella cheese and that adds to it so much. Before I put that in, I did do a nice big handful of Parmesan style into the bowl and that gave it another great taste. So if you want a quick, nourishing, delicious soup, do try this. By the way, you can freeze the soup for up to three months. With I just want to show you my somewhat unconventional breakfast. I told you about, <laughs> Moosey is laughing. Every day it's something different, either, either an avocado or a can of sardines or whatever. I'm not a cereal person, but I told you about making this fabulous Italian minestrone or pasta fazool supper last night and I just heated it up and I'm having a delicious soup. Remember, it's full of beans, legumes, so much protein, and the protein is what you need in your body to help create that production of collagen, which is what we worry about the most in our face, our collagen and elastin to keep it nice and tight. So cheers, go make yourself a bowl of soup and enjoy. Mmm, yummy. Oh, that's about it for this video. Some fun, a little get ready with me, and a little hint about what's to come in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I want to thank you for all your comments, all your thumbs up, and welcome to the new subscribers. I appreciate you all so much and love you. Bye for now. God bless us all.